Hi, it's Chester Topwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at how to group and ungroup worksheets in the same workbook. Now, the reason you want to do this is you may want to format, say, a heading on each of the sheets in the same way. You might want to enter a value on each of the sheets, or you might want to delete something. So here's my scenario. I've got a workbook with a sheet for each branch quite a few branches here and I want to just format these headings so they're all italicized. Now the trick to this is obviously select your first sheet, the sheet that you want to include in the formatting. You just click on that and then if you want to select consecutive sheets, so say I wanted to select Aberdeen through to Brighton, what I would do is hold down the shift key on my keyboard and then click Brighton. And what you'll see is that those sheet tabs are now all white as opposed to gray, which is how they are by default. And that indicates to me that they're all grouped. Now, if you look up at the title bar of your window, you can also see it says group up there, which means that you've grouped your sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to italicize and I might even change the color of those headings. And each of these sheets, if I click on the sheet name, you'll see that the headings have changed on each of those sheets. Well, the ones that weren't grouped, you can see that the, the format hasn't been applied. Okay, so that was good if you wanted to select consecutive uh, sheets. If you want to select non-consecutive sheets, what you do is you select the first sheet, then hold down control, and then select your next sheet. So for example, I could leave out Cambridge and Coventry, and then I can do my formatting. And for example, if I keep, click on the Cambridge sheet, you can see, and the Coventry sheet, you can see that it hasn't been affected by the uh, formatting, but my Bristol, Cardiff, and Derby sheets have. So in these examples, I'm just formatting uh, cells, but if you were to enter a value or delete cells, it would have the same effect it would do it on each of the sheets. Now, ungrouping sheets, you may have noticed that what I was doing actually ungrouped the sheets, but let's just revisit that. So if I've selected sheets uh, and they're grouped, now there are two ways you can group. Basically, if I click on any of the grouped sheets, you can see it remains grouped. But if I click on a sheet that isn't grouped, then the sheets that were grouped become ungrouped. So the act of selecting an ungrouped sheet ungroups the grouped sheets. Now, what if all your sheets were grouped? Well, the other option is to right click on the grouped sheets. Now, you're not actually going to be able to see this, um, but in this menu, right at the bottom, it's slightly, it's completely off the screen, it says ungrouped sheets, and you can see that the sheets have become ungrouped. Okay, that's all there is to it. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Thanks very much for listening.